Trana Weep Nitty Bong and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related and today on my channel I'm going to talk about some stuff and things I found from the four corners of the tinterweb i do this every single tuesday and saturday on this channel so if you like the sound of that why not think about giving me a like a share and a subscribe because it really helps me out and now the news don't touch that dial Kicking off with Gisea and Gisea Toys' mission to turn every Transformer into a tape. So this is an awesome little video here of their latest Transformer to turn into a tape, which is a take on Prime, or here the, the Ultra Magnus take on Prime, so this is the white. Really loving the head sculpt on this with that blue face mask on the front. Really, really cool, as always, with these little figures. Not too keen on the little tabs hanging off the arms, but for this one, they turn into stacks, which I believe is pretty cool. But then also, I know it all has to hold together, so they do need these little pegs. But overall, what ingenuity. The, the, the truck mode is... Nah, it, it's, it's passable, right? It's a passable truck. But all together, this is really, really cool. Very interesting, especially when you think about what they've also now done with the Megatron as well. Really, really cool. Nice idea. And of course, where there is an Ultra Magnus, there's a classic styling looking Prime. Why not? Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. Uh, I really like the, the original Colors Prime looks really cool moving over to moon studios they've been showing off their fully combined take on raiden uh, pre-orders for this dude are up or certainly the first two parts of this the two feet pre-orders are up for that I'm super excited for this. Heading over to Good Smile Company. Love the name of this. They've been showing off their take on uh, Cyclone. Uh, so Cyclone is, as far as I can tell, and I'm sure people in the comments will correct me if I'm wrong, is an original character from Good Smile Company. I don't think that this is heavily based on anyone. I know you could say that this is a, a take on RC, and maybe it is, but I don't think this is directly drawn from anything in Transformers Media. Let me know. I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. Both modes for this look awesome. I love this kind of Cybertronian take on a motorcycle, almost like a Tron light cycle looking thing. What's pretty nice is that they showed a figure on top of the cycle so you can see how somebody would sit on the cycle because when you look at that cycle you might think hey how would someone sit on that cycle well they've shown you it looks like it articulates really really nicely and has some killer high heel booties on it as well i've got no experience with this company so let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments dna designs have finally released their add-on pack for your earth rise take on scorpionark so if you have got pre-order in for this expect this to be arriving at your doorstep very very soon now a few people have been asking me about this about the black mamba tokyo train set uh, I don't know any more about this. These are the latest pictures that I have. I don't know where you can pre-order this. I've seen no pre-orders. This shows a green take on this as well, though. I think the last time I showed the yellow and the red take on this. Um, but yeah, this is all I know. They're coming. They look a little bit like shell formers to me, uh, to be fair. But still pretty, pretty nice. Let me know your thoughts on these. Or even where you can get the pre-orders up. Check out, shout out! You want to check out what's shaking underneath this fortress? Then you need Fun Beach Studios because they have Blaster's Chair from Transformers the Movie. That's going to be coming very soon. This Obviously, this is just the rendering right now. Can't wait to see how cool this is. Uh, also, obviously, because this is 3D printed, you'll be able to scale it to whatever you want. So even if you have like the KFC Blaster, you'd be able to scale it up for them awesome 
heading over to Super 7 and they've been showing off their Cyborg Sound Blaster. So this is where you can take bits off and see all of the inner workings of well his nether regions it looks like here <laughs> uh, they've also done a megatron version and a soundwave version of this but this is their sound blaster and looks like it comes with a rat bat uh, these things don't transform let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments are you excited for this one this is one of my favorite figures from last year iron factory's take on bludgeon and you can see now that it has a recolor coming but not only this awesome wicked gray green and purple recolor but also you can see that it has an added accessory here uh, to put both of the katanas in to make a kind of um i don't know what you'd call it it's almost like a, a klingon battler i guess i'm super excited for this not one for recolors myself i don't tend to pick up too many recolors of the same one but i love this figure and i love this paint job so yeah, probably going to pick this up. This is available on Show Z right now on the pre-order. Heading over to Mech Fans Toys, Mechanic Studios, Vecma Toys, whatever they're calling themselves this week. And they've been showing off a few pictures of their Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, to you and I, as you may recognize from this heed, is going to be their take on Blitzwing. They are well getting into their triple changes now, having released Astro Train. Uh, also, they released Tracks the other way as well so this for me is pretty high on my need list i i think that the bot mode here and the plane mode and the tank look pretty good blitzwing is always a little bit of a squared off plane so yeah i can i can let this pass the tank looks incredible and the bot looks really really good as well astro train was fantastic from them tracks was okay so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Something that I'm not looking forward to as much, but this box here looks really nice. Their box art always looks great. Uh, this is their take on Poison. Uh, another triple changer coming from Mech Fan Studios. Uh, for this one, the bot and the truck mode looks okay. The plane mode, I'm not as enamored by. Heading over to 155 and they've got a few upgrade kits coming. First of all, this upgrade kit for your Super Megatron from your Generation Select line. Uh, this will add either a red, an orange or a purple uh, kind of sword to the front of it, which looks okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not against it. I think I prefer the sword on the back like that. Um, for me, it, I don't feel that the figure needs this so it's not something that i'll be picking up but if you feel that your figure is missing a massive sword then you can get a massive sword from one five five and it is translucent the red and the purple for me probably look the best the orange looks a little bit out of place with this figure 155 also doing some fillers for inferno definitely makes a difference if you look at the difference between the leg of inferno without the fillers and with the fillers these kits definitely do make a huge difference here heading over to the world of fans hobby and their ace hitter now has a few more colors we saw the alt mode uh, last week and now we're seeing the bot mode here with a few more colors really really like this figure i'm praying that the transformation is something that is nice on this not like athena fingers crossed heading over to new age and they've been showing off their shattered glass take on megatron this is a slightly changed version of their take on galvatron so this is their darius figure remolded slightly and tweaked a little bit i think this looks incredibly good within the bot mode the alt mode i'm not too keen on here but we can see it next to a few other new age figures they are slightly smaller new age figures from what i know and if you like the look of this dude then he's available to pre-order right now on show z this will be the first figure that i've actually ordered from show z i've never ordered a figure from show z but i couldn't find him anywhere else and earth seemed to be hinting at a Predator king re-release as well they released this picture over on their instagram so if you are missing a power of the prime spreader king then hopefully you should be able to pick up a power of the prime spreader king pretty soon via Ent earth 
Also, we've been getting a few more in-hand pictures or certainly product shots of Wave 3 of the Netflix War for Cybertron exclusive releases. These are actually available in the stores. These were that Hasbro didn't do any kind of big thing for this. People are getting these already from, I believe, Target a couple of walmarts in the uk i've not seen any of these at retail i think they are up on hasbro pulse in the uk right now and um, both of the uh, the quintesson guard and the, the the sparkless version and now i don't know why but they are certainly the quintesson guard is is pulling me over i was not going to pick any of these up but the quintesson guard is definitely pulling me over now deep cover i prefer the generation select version of deep cover um so yeah let me know your thoughts on this are you picking any of these up they look pretty nice but i own every single one of these molds already more than once yes it was it was it was galvatron all along so last week we got a couple of teases for galvatron and then we actually got the reveal so first of all we got the tease of the figure and then the tease of the alt mode and then we got to see the full thing in the flesh so i think this looks great i've seen mixed reviews on this online i think the bot mode here looks nice and i actually really like the way that the revenge is a gun in each of his hands apparently you can combine the two and then they become almost like a rail gun for him uh, which is nice shame it's not painted maybe it will be on the official release um but they are just great pieces of plastic obviously i already own the purple potato which is the best version of the revenge that you could get so this is the alt mode the bot mode sorry and this looks absolutely great i'm here for it we also got a picture of the alt mode as well and when i saw this i was like oh no oh no they they screwed it up they put the cannon too long i don't like this look for galvatron i really don't mech fans toys has exactly the same look for galvatron where the gray piece goes in but then i saw this and i was like ah actually you can take that off and you can just put the orange section in on its own to give it that more classic g1 galvatron look that's the look i want i'm not sure if it's a little bit stunted but i can't wait for the official release to see what it looks like and that will probably be at hasbro pulse fan fest hasbro pulse fan fest is coming april the 9th and just to let you all know now uh, also straight after that if you head over to this channel uh, myself toys r russ and uk transformer collector we're going to be doing our first ever live stream together to talk about what's just happened so if you feel like celebrating all of the successes that we've just seen there and what you're hyped about head on over to us in the same way if you want to bitch moan cry complain and hurl insults at them for what you've just seen why not head over as well because i'm sure we'll be doing a little bit of that as well but let's hope it's more to the positive side of things so as always that's everything from me today thank you very much for your support we are so close to hitting 2k on this channel right now uh, we are currently at about 1975 subscribers this is absolutely incredible i'm sure we'll hit 2k very soon so why not think about giving me a like a share and a subscribe and i'll see you in my next video all right guys in a bit peace